Just a warning, depending on the clips I have, this video may contain gore, violence, and perhaps nudity. However, as I type this in Google Docs, I have no idea which clips I'll use. And as I'm saying this, I still have no idea. Sons of the Forest was the most wishlisted game on Steam, and with good reason. The first game, simply titled The Forest, was a fantastic survival horror game. Whether it's the freedom to use your imagination with the tools provided, or the effort to conquer the world you're thrown in, there's something about survival games that just clicks. Consider Minecraft, which has sold 238 million copies in its 14 year run. Now the next big number I'm going to throw at you may seem insignificant in comparison to the Minecraft sales, but Sons of the Forest has sold 2 million copies in the first 24 hours of its release, which is quite impressive when you think about it. There were no pre-orders, the only platform available was PC, it's a survival horror game, and it's not a AAA studio with an unlimited advertising budget. To even further stretch the point, you had to get up after the game launched, walk to your computer, open Steam, and purchase it within the first 24 hours on a Thursday. End Night, the studio behind Sons of the Forest, says the game will remain in early access for the next 6-8 to eight months, but that doesn't mean it's buggy or even feels unfinished. I completed the story last night with some friends, and each place we explored kept me saying, what the fuck? <laughs> Every new cave, bunker, or hidden hatch we discovered seemed to be hiding something to keep you guessing and wanting to explore more. Plus, they usually have some cool reward near the end, with three being required to explore and beat the rest of the game. Now, I beat the forest and watched a bunch of videos explaining a lot of the story, but I was still confused and left guessing in Sons of the Forest. Even though the game is over and I've explored the majority of the island, I still want to restart knowing what I know now and see if I missed anything. It's like watching a movie again and seeing all the hints and foreshadowing you missed the first time around. But just to summarize and wrap this up, the game sold 2 million copies in its first 24 hours, and Steam crashed pretty hard. I tried to buy the game at launch, and I couldn't until an hour and 10 minutes later. The Twitter feed, Discord, and subreddit were all filled with complaints about how no one could even purchase the game. The game is multiplayer if you choose to play with friends, but it also has a solo option if you'd rather play alone. The game does have the standard difficulty options. It has a normal and a hard mode, and it also has a hard survival, which if you want a baked potato definition, it just makes surviving harder. <laughs> but one of the coolest things about it is that there is a custom mode that has a variety of possibilities that you can play with. You can change the season to spring, summer, autumn, or winter, and you can change how long those seasons last. You can also change the difficulty of enemies, the survival aspect where you take damage if you're hungry or thirsty, uh, how many animals spawn to keep resources high or low, depending on how tough you want it. So if you have the time, I highly recommend it. It kept me from finishing some videos I was working on, but it was well worth it. But yeah, I'm going to be playing this game later today. I hope you guys find the time to play it, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. But that's it. Adios.